Hi everyone and welcome to September 2015 Oracle Messages. Emma White and I are delighted to be sharing this role again with you this month and we look forward to sharing some very um, empowering messages with you. Now what we're planning on doing this time is I'm going to start the message with one of my little on cards to see where um, what direction we're guided to go into and then I'm calling upon the um, John Holland Psychic Tarot cards I'm going to call upon two and then Emma is going to call upon the same pack and see what messages we can generate from these cards and then Emma is going to finish off with a, a tarot card for you as well. Now last month as fate had it that some of the cards appeared in both messages uh, one for me and also from Emma so I took that as a like a double sign for you to be mindful of so let's see if that happens again this month. Now before we get into the messages I just want to share with you some of the, the events that are going to be happening in September. Now first up is Mercury is now going to go retrograde again that's going to start on the 17th of September and um, it's actually going to happen in the house of Libra. Now I'm not an astrologer I don't really understand a lot of it on a deep level but my gut is that you know this is going to because it's Libra it's about relationships and balance and harmony so just be mindful of any relationship miscommunications that may occur during this period and don't just don't engage in it. I also feel that there's a little bit of scaremongering in the ethers at the moment and people are prophesizing you know some sort of event that's going to happen around this super full moon on the 28th of September. We've heard all of these before and it never happens so I'm just saying don't buy into this if it should bubble up in your world it's all smoke and mirror and illusions and just trust that everything will always work out just right. Um, okay oh and our manifesting object this month now this is really cool as I was walking to exercises this morning I put it out to the universe and said what shall we reflect on what's our little manifesting task for September you know we've had the dragonfly and we've also had the seahorse and we've had the little um, ladybug and bluebird of happiness dropped into my mind it was instant bluebird of happiness I thought oh that's really cool so um, I was speaking with Emma uh, this morning to talk about our plan for the September videos and I called upon um, my messenger oracle cards just to share a message for me and Emma and one of the cards I got was this one it says heed the messenger and there's this little blue bird sitting on this lady's shoulder in this image and I thought thank you perfect perfect little object to manifest for September so be on the lookout for our gorgeous little blue bird of happiness and one final topic um, I've actually created a patreon account to help with the costs of producing these videos every month I really enjoy doing them but it does take a big chunk of my time and it's the editing that really is the most time consuming process so I was hoping to possibly raise a few funds so that I could outsource this task and um, help that flow, help the flow um, go through the inverse. Okay so thank you very much for listening and I'm going to start these readings right now for you. Bye. Hello Pisces, here we go, here is the on card for September for you and oh go within. So we're being guided to tap into our um, intuition. I feel that you know maybe some of us Pisceans have neglected to um, to really tap into you know that spiritual um, psychic ability that we have and for this card to show in September I think that's um, a message to reconnect to really feel the love of the, the universe flowing through because we are messengers and we can share that love out there to the wider community and now let's see what these cards have got to say to add to the message and we have the first card is oh <laughs> look at that shine that beautiful light so we've got to go within to um, just stoke the fires the internal fires and then we can share that beautiful light with them um, those that we get to connect with in September what a beautiful gift this to me is like the lotto card, winning the lotto, to have that beautiful light shining to um, to help others. You know, at the end of the day, all those material possessions that we gather throughout our lifetime, yeah, they're great. But to really um, know that you, you're having a, a positive contribution or influence um, with somebody else, I think that's the magic of why we're here having this beautiful human experience. 
Now the next card I have here is, oh, let go, Passion Ignited. So I think, you know, through, you know, that going within, you know, shining that beautiful light, I think that, you know, something um, that's been a little bit dormant and is going to get your attention again and really, you know, you're going to be fired up and ready to go out there and, and provide some sort of um, service to the wider community. Oh, excellent. Now, Emma, please share with us what cards have you got for Pisces? Thank you, Mary Lane. Hi, Pisces. I'm Emma White, and I have an additional two cards to add to your reading. So the first card that came up for you is the Spiritual Strength card. So tying into what Mary Lane was talking about earlier, this is saying that you really have the strength within you to... Uh, to now assist others and also yourself and that you you really have everything that you need um, within everything that all the resources that you need and you are able now to help uh, reach out and help others and assist um, so that's just absolutely fabulous and the next card that came for you is the harmony card so I'm seeing that this is that you are able to really bring a sense of harmony to your own life and to those around you. So what a fantastic gift uh, for the month of September. So I hope you enjoyed your reading and stick around because I have a one card angel message for you all. Okay, so here's your special angel message for the month of September. Uh, the card that has come through for you today is the Sun card. So uh, this, is, this is a fabulous card. The message that I'm, I'm getting from this is that for the month of September, we're really going to thrive through the power of positive thinking. So we need to try and keep our thoughts and our words as, as positive as we can. And that's going to translate into our life. Um, I'm also getting from this... Uh, to believe in ourselves and to believe in those around us because I know a lot of us still have doubts um, when we start thinking about pos positivity and positive outcomes those doubts creep in about whether we're up to that whether we, we can actually fulfill what we're dreaming of or with those pe the people around us are going to fit into that or not well, this is just saying believe in yourself, believe in those around you, and it's all possible. So thank you for listening, and we'll see you all next month. Bye.